So the year is 2020 part 2, top place a complete dumpster fire, and welcome to my Evelyn Top Macro Guide. As with all my builds, they're elegantly crafted into perfection, thus having no counterplay, so you can just ban whoever you hate. But hate's a very very strong word, so I normally just ban none, so I got to lane and immediately started the fight. But this is when I learned that this Vala Bear had a mental block of some sorts, because he started a Q instead of E. Or was this his master plan? The enemy jungler is Vi and she can be in this bush waiting for a level 2 gank with red, because Volley came from the river, not tower. So is he just setting up for a level 2 cheese? Well apparently not, so I hard win this trade because Evelyn's completely broken, as her Q's more spammable than an auto attack, but does not draw minion aggro, allowing me to boldly volley past the minion line. I backed off as the next wave arrives to avoid taking damage from those little hooded miggots. With a combination of the insane sustain provided by Evelyn passive, conquer, and my shorts guide, plus me being a fucking moron and missing half the fucking CS, thus not having to go to buy anything, as well as being full health full mana, so recalling wouldn't grant me any advantages, and my Diana still on red buff since she's full clearing, as well as knowing that Vi started bot side and should be top side by now, thus rendering a dive to be near impossible. Logically, as the moron that I am, I have came to the conclusion that invading will be the best course of action, as this will relieve some stress off of Katarina, as she is getting bullied by the new 200 years champion, and Volley will be stuck on her tower farming for the next 20 seconds, then need to push out two more waves, or else he's gonna miss a lot of farm. Plus, my jungler should be done clearing red, turning this into a 2v2. Everything was going according to plan as I found Vi, stole blue, and actually that's about it. As that's when I found out that my E can be cancelled by my Q, which made it so that I can't charm her, thus not shredding her match resistance, making it so that I can't one shot her to get the fuck out. Now you may be thinking to yourself, wait, Bob, didn't you say it was gonna be a 2v2? So you didn't expect to one shot her in the first place, right? Well, you see, I expected this Vi to not be a fucking moron. With a clear path that is so fucking inefficient, it doesn't even get her to level 3. Because a level 3 Evelyn cannot one shot a level 3 Vi. But if Vi is level 2, I definitely can. And if you look closely at the map, at this very moment, you're gonna notice three more things. The first thing is that Diana is walking to her fucking Krugs! Do you know how long it takes to clear Krugs? 14 fucking seconds for a level 3 Diana. The second thing that you should notice is that Zeri is missing, meaning that she's rotating over, and that's according to plan. But what's not according to plan is Volley Beam MIA! That means it's gonna be one of these three, and I need to get the fuck out ASAP! Oh, Bob. What else did you expect? This is fucking solo queue. Did you really think that anything else was going to happen? No, 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 no. Why would I? But I didn't expect to be in a game of six fucking morons. How the f Fuck, does Lux Lucian lose to Sorok of his fortune? And third, is that you should have noticed that I have the completely wrong runes. But now, I have to do this for the main video. For content. For you two. So I pressed on to execute the plan as if nothing had changed. So I looped around Wolf, stalling time for Diana to finish Krugs and to stack up my Conquer so I can have a better chance when... Never mind. I guess there are seven fucking morons because Zeri is not rotating over. Now here, I was debating between leaving the jungle and calling it it or keep fucking with them. Then something crazy happened. I saw that this was gonna be a seven second long clip, so I turned around and walked towards Grump instead. And after some shenanigans to keep their attention, we ended up here. They thought they had me surrounded, but little did they know that I actually had them surrounded, as Diana was well on her way. But for some reason, she's using the missing in action ping instead of the on my way ping. But I, as the OG moron, knew that she understood the master plan. So I used my last charge of smite to save myself from imminent death, buying just enough time for Diana to get here. And this is when I thought, okay, cool, this is over, Diana's full health, full mana, she should make easy work of them. And the first thing she does is fuck up E-Reset. Right. I turned on to Vala Bear trying to get at least one kill out of this, but Vi decided to join back to the party with a very telegraphic cue. So I whipped her ass and went back top for a juicy ass wave, and proceeded to miss half of it because brain damage. Now that you have a massive advantage, this build allows you to do whatever the fuck you want with it, and not be stuck with a single win condition. So you can split push, pick small skirmishes, or a full out team fight, as you excel in all the above. This game was broadcasted live on Twitch, and it was redubbed for YouTube afterwards. 